Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zaria McQueen and if you are interested in achieving this look, honey, we about to call this cut crease, soft glam, hello, thank you ma'am, realness. <laughs> and I use all Il Maquillage products to achieve this look and if you are interested and want to see how you could get this look, then keep on watching. All right, y'all, so I'm going to start off with my brows already done. I did them off camera, you already know. And I'm just going to use my favorite eyeshadow primer and prime my lids. So today, I'll be mainly working in the Workaholic Color Boss Squad palette. And I'll be taking these two bottom colors. And with the lighter shade, I will put the name down in the description box. I'm going to use the shader brush from Il Maquillage. And I'm going to put that above my crease as well as in my crease. And then I'm going to use the darker brown shade. And I'm going to focus that mainly in my crease. As you'll see when I'm applying it, I'm really focusing on just being in my crease with that darker color. So you're just going to make sure you find it and pack it on into there. To make sure that everything is blended, I'm using this Duo Fiber Blending Brush from, of course, Il Maquillage to make sure that everything is nice and blended with no harsh edges. I just want everything to flow, you know? So now, once everything is looking how you want, we're going to cut that crease, girl. I'm using my BFF Concealer in shade 12. And I'm going to use a flat eyeliner brush basically to carve out where I would like my cut crease to be. And yeah guys, when I decided this look, it was so random. And I'm just having so much fun playing in makeup and creating all types of looks. Like, you can make anything work. So I really was having fun with that. And that's what I'll be doing. And another thing that I really commend Il Maquillage for is that a lot of their products have pumps. I don't know about y'all, but... A foundation can be so amazing, but it will turn me off if it doesn't have a pump. Like, it's too risky when you have to sit there and pour it out, you know. So, I'm really thankful that all of their, most of their products have pumps. To set that concealer on my eye, I use my Sasha Buttercup Powder and a little fluffy brush. I didn't do a lot at all since this powder does have like um, a tint to it. So I just put a little dust in just so that it won't crease easily. I'll be applying this shimmery champagne shade named Lush Life where I applied that concealer. And honestly, that is it for the eyes. I'm using that same shade of brush from earlier. And look, we slayed it.
So after using some mascara and putting a nice coat on, I'll be applying the McQueen Lash from my brand Z Minx today, which was a perfect addition to this look. Aww, so as you can see, I went ahead, I'm done with the eyes. I really liked how this came out. As I said in my previous Il Maquillage video, just working with their shadows and all their products is like, it's super easy. Like when, if you, of course you saw, um, with the eyeshadow, no fallout. When you pick it up on a brush, that's it. It's on the brush. You know what I'm saying? So, like, look, literally no fallout. I got to pack on the color. And I'm really happy with how this look came out. I'm trying to decide if my lashes were a little too much. But there's no such thing. Okay, girl? So, these are the McQueen lash. But I'm really impressed because, as y'all know, I'm going to keep saying I'm just not an eyeshadow girl. And quick story time. Don't judge me. I really let somebody get into my head. But, um... You know the anonymous thing? Somebody was like, oh, you really think you good at makeup? And I was like, ouch. <laughs> I was like, ouch, damn, what did I do to you? So more of the story is people are just haters. And if I did not have that platform, that anonymous thing, they would have never said that because people are just, don't get me started. But anyway, look at this, look at this. Y'all don't even know, sometimes once outside is open again, I'm out here with all types of cut creases. So let's go ahead and yeah, so I'm gonna prime and of course, you know, I'm using my no filter poreless base primer, look at that. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And like I said, I will not be talking through this. I will do a voiceover, but if you want more details and my, my first impressions, then head over to my previous video and you know, get my thoughts there. But let's just beat this face. there I woke up like this foundation I'm in the shade 185 I absolutely love that it has a pump so I just warmed it up on the back of my hand I'm gonna use this foundation blending brush and apply that foundation girl
attempted to use their mineral baked bronzer i will have the exact shade down below but i tried to use that for contouring but honestly y'all i thought it was kind of my color so it didn't really make a diff and i've never used bronzer before so <laughs> cut me some slack but it did a little something it did Now to set my under eye, I'll be using the Ben Nye Topaz Powder. I really love this powder because it's the perfect shade. and It's like perfect for brown girls because it gives us that golden look without us looking ashy. Now for highlighter today so I could shimmer and sparkle and all of that girl, I'll be using their highlighter dust in the shade Gold Sand. Look at, ooh, girl. I love it. I might have a new fave. Couple new faves because I really love Il Maquillage's highlighter. Seriously, they have some really nice ones. And they're like perfect for my complexion. So I'll definitely be sure to list it down below because I know us brown girls got to stick together so we could glow. Okay? So to finish up the look, I'll be using some brown lip liner along with a mixture of a hint of the Candy Gloss by Z Minx along with the Cafe Gloss by Z Minx. It was like the perfect combination of colors and it really gave me the most beautiful nude. And yes girl, look at that. I started feeling myself after this honestly. And look how smooth the lip gloss goes on. Never sticky and tacky, just nice, smooth and pigmented. Now, the look will not be complete without me putting a dot of eyeliner on my beauty mark, y'all. Hello. So, I'm using their Blackout Gel Eyeliner and, you know, any random brush. And I just put a little dot on my beauty mark so that it's nice and defined. So this is the final look. How did you like it? I love it, you know, like, I slayed this look again. First of all, let me not, it's not all up to me. It was because of Il Maquillage and their amazing products. If you wanna see my first impressions, like, you know, when I first used the products, then head on to my previous video. But honestly, like, they never miss. Like, I love their products. Their eyeshadows are beautiful, super like blendable, no fallout, no chalkiness, like none of that, okay? We are talking straight luxury over here. So I really wanna thank Il Maquillage for sending me over their products, allowing me to play with them, and allowing me to slay because girl, I did. So how do you like it? I really love it. Like, the lip gloss topped it off. You already know that Z Minx looks lip glosses. Go check it out. I use the shade Cafe today with a little bit of brown lip liner. You already know how that goes. And yeah, it just complemented the look amazingly as well as the lashes that I'm using. Also from Z Minx, this is the McQueen lash. So go and check it out. But thank you so much, Il Maquillage. Like, come on, they never miss. The last look was a look and this is a look now. So do y'all think that I'm improving with my eyeshadow skills? Do you think so? Because I think I am. And like, what an honor is it to like practice and improve your makeup skills using such this luxury brand. Like they really don't miss. So I'm super thankful and I'm thankful that you watched this video. Any 
questions, leave them down below and additional information will be in my description box. So go and check that out and make sure you check out Il Maquillage and their products y'all cause can't stop, won't stop. Woke up like this. Like I'm just really happy and I really like this look and I hope you enjoyed it too. So I'll see you in my next one, bye.